Golf Central on YouTube is brought to you by the new Paradigm Woods and Irons from Callaway. And hi again, everyone. I'm Jimmy Roberts, and this is your Golf Central update. One tournament, three courses this week for the American Express PGA West Stadium course, which is a par 72, 7,187 yards. PGA West Nicholas course, which is just a hair shorter. And La Quinta Country Club, shorter and where scoring has tended to be lowest. In addition to three of the top five players in the world, the tour's most recent winner, Siwoo Kim, will be in action again. Kim won here in 2021. Tom Kim will also be in the field following his missed cut at Sony. And world number 12, Tony Finau, will play. Tony has won three times since July and addressed the media earlier today. Yeah, I think, you know, winning breeds confidence. There's no question. I feel that uh, for the most part, I've always been a pretty confident person, but um, winning breeds more confidence, I think. And, um, and I think I definitely, I just, I think I just feel more comfortable with my game um, and my game is as good as it's been um, in my career. And that's, I think that's always the goal, you know, for me every year I play is to just try and get better and, um, I feel like as a player, I've gotten better through years, and um, I definitely feel better approaching this year than I than I did last year. I think it was easy to get frustrated because I kept falling short. You know, I'd get right to the finish line and losing playoffs. You know, I, I lost in a handful of playoffs through those years, and um, countless other one shot, two shot, you know, losses. So it was easy, I think, to I can see on the outside looking in how easy it was to you know see that I, you know this guy can't close but I felt I felt like I was getting better and that that's all I can ask of myself and um I just knew it was going to happen you know I, I did it, ne I ne it never crossed my mind that I wasn't going to win again it was just that when it did I you know I had full faith that it was going to happen and and then it was going to continue to happen so that's kind of where I'm at now where um I'm kind of reaping that the benefits of just believing in myself and um, and hopefully I just continue the good play. An absolutely full schedule this week beginning on Thursday. The Tournament of Champions on the LPGA Tour. The Abu Dhabi HSBC Championship on the DP World Tour and the American Express of course in California. Two time winner of the event John Cook will be on the call. And my, my, how time flies. John Cook joins us now. He's out in the desert covering the event. Cookie, you don't look any different all these years oh, later. Boy. <laughs> you are way too kind, Jimmy, way too kind. <laughs> all right, look, I, I want to start with your win in 1992. Five-man playoff after five <laughs> rounds of golf, and you needed three birdies and an eagle to win. What are your memories that? of that event other than that it was long? It was a long week, um, you know, 90 holes back in those days. And, uh, of course, you, you, you kind of go round and round and round. Next thing you know, they say, okay, everybody, head to the first tee. We got five players in a playoff. <laughs> and nobody knew we were going to the first tee. Everybody thought we were going back to 18. Um, but we went to number one there at, uh, at Bermuda Dunes. So five of us went down the fairway we go. And uh, myself and Rick Fair and Gene Sowers all made birdies on that first hole, Mark O'Mara and Tom Kite both made pars. Um, and then we just kind of went around and around from there. So Gene Sowers and I birdied uh, number 18, the par five back to number one, we go. So uh, Gene and I go back to number <laughs> one and uh, we, you know, made, both made birdies there. And then on 18, we go back again and we had the same pitch shot, uh, literally the same pitch shot, both of us for Eagles. And uh, mine found the bottom of the cup and Gino just uh, creased the left edge of the hole. And it was, uh, it was game over, luckily for me. <laughs> yeah, you talk about uh, that pitch shot and, and wedge play. In 1997, you won by shooting 62-63 in the last two <laughs> rounds with great wedge play. The wedge is such an important club for today's power players. <laughs> what was your mentality with a wedge in your hand? Oh, I practiced it so much, Jimmy. I had you know, my great mentor and teacher, Ken Venturi, we we worked a lot on 150 yards in, and I, I always thought that I was pretty proficient from 150 in, uh, especially with my wedges. I, I, I was fairly creative. I, I didn't have like one stock standard shot. Uh, I hit a lot of different off-speed shots, spinners, non-spinners. You know, I flighted the ball nicely, and 
Um, it fit really, really well around Indian Wells and, and these desert golf courses that they uh, played for the Hope and, and, and now the American Express. Uh, so I, I always uh, I worked very hard on that, and, and, and Venturi uh, and I, you know, had a had a system. We had a a method to it, and, and when to use it, when you know, when to flight the ball down, when to get it up in the air, when to go, you know, little draw shots or cut shots. Um, and it was uh, it was quite fun, honestly. Uh, I, I think that my uh, proximity to the hole with my wedges were were was pretty close. It was within you know fifteen or eighteen feet every single time. So. That gave me a lot of chances for birdies. Yeah. Well, with all deference uh, to American Express, I think there are probably a lot of us out there who still refer to it uh, as the hope. Um, right. You know, it is one of the, the few courses, a uh, few tournaments, I should say, that uses different courses, Pebble another. How does that change your preparation heading into a week like that? It's, it's difficult right now with uh, three courses and four rounds, and we had four courses and five rounds uh, back in, you know, back in the days. And, you know, the, the guys are, they're going to play a lot of golf courses in the next three weeks. They have two more at, uh, at Torrey Pines and then they have three up at Pebble beach. So, uh, I, I think it, you just come down to the mentality. What, what course do I really want to get prepared on? You, you kind of know what you need to do, put the ball in the fairway, keep the ball below the hole, you know, that, that type of, uh, um, you know, that type of strategy. But, uh, I, I think it's just a matter of, of, of saving energy. Uh, and there's a lot of golf to be played and the golf courses haven't really changed much. I think that the younger players that haven't been, you know, out to the, out to the desert and played uh, low desert golf for the American express and PGA West and, um, and the, the, the stadium course and the Nicholas, and then also uh, La Quinta, there's some little nuances about playing these golf courses. And uh, you kind of have to know, you know, where the mountains are, where the, you know, where the grade is, uh, it really does help if you know that, and you can only do that by a little bit more repetition. So uh, basically, you just have to spend a lot of time on and around the greens. Yeah, what's the old cliche? Everything breaks towards Indio. Um, yeah, I said it's salt and sea, and people look at me like, you know, look at me cross-eyed, like salt and sea, what does that even mean? Well, I lived 30 years in the desert, so I think I, think I figured it out. <laughs> you know, this is a very good field, despite not being a, a designated event. Curious your thoughts about what the new tour schedule could do to events like this, which was obviously an important event, not only for your career, but for a long time for the tour's popularity. Yeah, Jimmy, you, you hit the nail right on the head. I think it, uh, you know, tournaments like this are, I think they're going to suffer a little bit. I, I think this, you know, this event still has uh, the prestige. It has history. They know how important this event is. Uh, on the on the schedule, so I imagine that a lot of these players that are playing this week, uh, that are in the top ten uh, in the official World Golf rankings, um, they know how important this this event is, and so I think they'll keep it on the schedule. And, and I think it's an important event uh, to kick off the you know, the the season, basically. Uh, so, but a lot of these events that are the non elevated ones, I think they're going to get hurt just a little bit. Um, their communities are going to suffer just a little bit, but. You know, if they can get you know some players to play each you know, one of those events, I think that that would be good, and it would show a lot of character to these these young players on you know enjoying these events and playing these events um, that they don't have to play, but going and playing them anyway. I think it it shows a lot of character to for some of these young players. John Cook on the call this week with our friend Terry Gannon. Cookie, don't yes. look a bit different. Like I said, thanks. Have a good week. Thank you. I will. I will always enjoy being here.